Hi guys, I'm a Tiano, known as a Tiano Voice of Africa, for those who don't know me. And uh, I don't have my cameraman or camera lady as I'm on the road. And uh, Karibuni Sana to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Today I want us to talk about internet, social media, and conning that happens in that particular uh, place. It, is, it has become a home to most of us because we spend our time there, we share our view there, views there, uh, we tell people our beliefs and so forth and so on. Now, many things happen in internet. I told you, we are family and I got your back. I told you I will do my research and I will check on this thing out. Now, I was, uh, I've been checking on a cyber, internet, you know, all of this is just together. Identity theft, all of this taking place. Even when you go on uh, Facebook, you see things like um, somebody's news has been leaked out, uh, their privacy. Sometimes they do this uh, intentionally, maybe there's a particular thing they're looking for, you know, I don't know. People are creepy like this sometimes. But other times it is trusting and over-trusting someone you really, really don't know or over-giving you details out there. Now, uh, let's start with, uh, there's a show I was watching. It's uh, on BBC. It is, uh, the title is Catch Her If You Can. Catch Her If You Can. Now, the, this lady... She's a girl. She started this at a very, very early age. Early age as in uh, around 18, I don't know, 17. Like, she is really, really good. And what she does is she high profiles all her documents. So she looks like she is this young, achieving lady who is making it, moving. Unajua za, hey, this lady is making it. The Gucci, you know, she uses designer everything. Everything is designer. Whatever she is doing is up to date. She does not play. And she has a way of luring people into coming in and wanting to invest in what she is doing, which is nothing. She is doing nothing. She's a con woman. Uh, one episode, she uh, befriended this girl who went on uh, Facebook was going through a hard time and uh, started uh, voicing herself out and she reached out just as a friend and consoling her and what of you now it happened at that time their mother was sick their grandmother was sick so her and her mom they were to fly out from uh, united states to jamaica to see the grandma and she happened to tell her and she was like no 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 girl have you guys purchased uh, the the ticket if not yet if not yet there is a way that I, I, I get uh, like rates to be lowered for me because, you know, the level I have reached in my business. So, uh, oh, and that was wonderful news for them. Having ticket done at a half price for going and coming is really good. And she manages to um, convince this girl. The girl tells her mom because her mom was the one who was paying for the ticket at that particular time. And her mother, they sell her the money. And she doesn't care. She has no remorse. She has no heart. She was born like that. Another victim was a lady whom she convinced uh, to buy a particular land and what have you. Now listen. Mostly, the social media con people, when they come in, they either come as they want a relationship, okay? But they come with big things that they cannot really put their hands in. Number one, I want to buy a land. I want to buy a house. I'm in a diaspora. I'm out in this country. I'm doing this kind of work. If they really want to buy a land and buy a house, can't, don't they know how to locate people who deal in that particular aspect? Who told them you are a broker for housing or for land or for this crap thing? And we have genuine people who really are from diaspora and they give help in a good cause they believe in or even if it is you particular they like they do and most of them are there watching me right now because I am someone who has been very much uh, uh, taken care of by people whom I haven't met 
because they believed in a course I was doing, you know, and they wanted to partner up and thank you so much. Thank you. And, you know, when someone really, really wants to, uh, to help in a particular way, then they come in a way that you understand, a very simple way. They don't come in ways that you do not understand with big words that they, they just fool in your head. <laughs> Tell them, no, 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 go slow, Teramos. You know, go slowly. Let me understand what you're talking about. And if it is something to do with business, I always say this. You are not dying. And if you're dying, then the business was not meant to be anyway. Take your time. Listen to what they're bringing on the table. Go do your research. And better, have a face-to-face -face talk and understand each other. Now, uh, one thing I have come to, I came to understand about men who are uh, con people, and this I saw on a documentary in Australia, in London, and most of these men are young men. They try to prey on uh, women of a particular age. Women of a particular age, meaning they mostly don't have children, or if they have, it's one or two, and they're grown up, and they're out of the house, they're lonely so they prey on the loneliness of these women. And these boys normally are set in, I don't know if those are houses or stores, things that look like this. And they have a one way that they want always to talk to you. They want a video chat. Then in one of their video chats, they remove their um, shirts so that you can see how masculine they are. You know, it's not attractive. Not for someone like me, not for a woman with four kids and large family and still young and popping like more hair. Mm -mm. Those things do not work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, but you find these women, they give thousands and thousands of dollars to these people believing there is love. Ah. You see, one thing I'm a believer of is a shilling is a shilling, it makes a thousand. Call me mean, call me stingy, I don't know. You call me whatever you want to call me. A shilling is a shilling, it makes a thousand. When you start giving people 300 shillings for no reason at all, soon you'll be giving a thousand, ten thousand, twenty, one million. You know, without one thousand, you're not getting twenty thousand. Trust me. Keep your money where it belongs, in the bank. You know? And um, another thing don't give your passwords you know we have uh, personal things very personal your account is very personal if you were to start something with someone find a way that you can start a, something different with the new everything new because uh, you know your password has carried so many things you've been conversing with people may they be high profile or low profile people everybody needs that privacy because you could maybe you don't care about yourself but you could be harming other people in turn you know once someone has figured one password they can figure many of your passwords because they're normally linked to each other okay um let's say for instance me here let me make myself an example if I am to work with someone on one level or two, something that concerns our social media and what have you, I am much more comfortable when we find a way that we make uh, whatever we're going to do, if it's like a partnership, away from uh, anything that can involve my password. Because I do deal with high profile people. I do deal with uh, people whom, uh, you know, Keep their private life very, very private. You understand? And uh, that can be damaging because you don't know people. One minute they're good, another minute they're not good. He might be very legit. But just one thing goes wrong and he decides, you know what, I've been taking shots of these conversations and what have you, and it can be damaging, really damaging. So keep your private life private. Give what you only want to give. And stop giving full details of your family. It's good to tell your life. If you want to share your life, it is good. There's no problem with that. 
but stop disclosing things like my child is in this particular school she goes to school at this particular hour you, you don't know whom you're dealing with people out here are aggressive they are heartless and they're there to get what they want and that is just about it and you have to take care of you you have to take care of yourself and your family yeah you have to do this you know i today i just got passionate about this issue and i was saying you know maybe we are so trusting because we want so much and so fast i'm a believer of growing slowly but having a foundation that i understand i welcome partnerships i welcome help i welcome everything but you must understand how it's going do you have a hand in it you know look at the picture both ways look at the picture both ways when the deal is too good sit and think about it this is what i always say if you are starting a personal relationship with someone on a social media you don't know please uh be careful and if it is a man let them stop trying to get their hands in your money you know do not let people have that leverage on your money and things like that so it is important to take care of yourself take care of your business take care of your wallet and do not trust everybody you talk to on social media because you don't know who they really are thank you it was nice having you again i'm atino olang if you haven't subscribed subscribe and join my family you never know you might find something you like or even make you laugh a little until another day karibuni tena